Hi, and welcome to help. My email code is obsolete. Hi, I'm Eric. And um, out of the blue, no, not really out of the blue, but uh, Visual Studio Code has beginning to tell me when stuff are obsolete. Uh, and why is it doing that? Well, it's doing that because Microsoft is moving pieces around. They're retiring some pieces uh, of code in order uh, while introducing new ones. And one of the the most used and useful, beloved, and, and a lot of good words on that is the SMTP functionality. Um, and, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is um here is some code uh, i took a random project uh, i found somewhere and um, extracted the essential email generating pieces of it uh, and changed it to something that's not uh, would identify where the code came from um, and we can see that this compiles fine, the package is created, but I do get three warnings. The first one is table SMTP mail sub up is marked for removal, recent move to email SMTP app, which is kind of weird, use SMTP, SMTP connector to create SMTP accounts, email accounts can be configured from then the rest of this message is uh, can be configured from email accounts. So there's a typo in this one F page from system application. Uh, weird message. Um, with a spelling mistake in it or typo anyway. The next one is um, code unit SMTP mail is marked for removal, reason replace replaced email message code unit from system application. Clearly an off day for whoever made these obsolete tags. Um, but but let's let's dig into it um, and, and, and see what, what can we do to make sure that our code is not obsolete. Um, and we can see here that we have the SMTP mail code unit. And we use that to mail.create message. Uh, and we have mail.add attachment and mail.send. That's pretty easy. I think what this code is using uh, the SMTP setup record for is to grab the sending user ID. Um, so how do we go about this? So, so those messages were kind of weird. Um, so, so let's try to, to take a look at it. Let's create a new function here. Uh, let's call it new send mail. And um, we will create another variable called mail code unit. And if we remember the message down here, Code unit SMTP mail is marked for removal. And the message is probably going to tell us that it, it has been replaced with the email message code unit. So let's see if we can find a, a email message code unit. We can. Awesome. Um, and what can we do on mail? Add attachment and then we can do some attachment gymnastics, create, get, Get body, get ID, get recipients, get subject, is body HTML formatted, run. Um, so that is a bit, lack, a bit lackluster because the one we came from had a send function. This one does not have a send function. So perhaps run is the, the sending one. Let's see if we can see the code on this one. We can't. Uh, but I can, I can reveal that run is not sending anything so we can from the start there were a create and the create function takes uh, recipients uh, and a subject and a body so we can just make this easy and say 
uh, hello at example.com and what was the second parameter for some reason the Visual Studio Code has stopped showing us the parameters this is the, 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 the subject and here's the body so the, quite simple um, we could go and do add attachment uh, so the same as we had down here we had I I think we have a function called save document as PDF to stream so it will run a report and save that as a stream uh, and and the old code used uh, mail dot add attachment stream um, so let's just create a stream here I'm not gonna send emails, so so th this code is just gonna be be markups more. So add attachment. What can we do with add attachment? We can give it a name. Um, so let's give it um, open this dot exe. That's that's how we roll. Uh, content type. Uh, no, that's dot PDF. And then let's do application slash PDF and then the third parameter is an attachment base 64 um, so in case we have a stream with our data in, you know, if we save the report into the thing we, we gotta encode this base 64 so we can go and grab the base 64 convert function and that one has a to base 64 and we can just pass the stream in here so that would add an attachment and now we were ready to to send it but we there's no send function so the the reality here is that this code unit the smtp mail code unit has been replaced with two code units so the other one is let's just call it email so there is a code unit that's just called email now nothing more nothing less this is just email so if we grab that one and do email let's see what we can here so email in queue uh, and then there's an on get test email body open in editor open in editor modally save as drafts send and run so there's our send function so the great thing about this now is that let me put that the other way the bad thing about smtp is just that it's just smtp so smtp is the underlying protocol that moves mail between mail servers smtp has no knowledge about anything else apart from moving um, um, the body of an email from a to b so, so if we give an SMTP server a uh, an email and and an a destination, it will send that email to it. But that's all it does. There's no concept of you know the the send folder or anything like that because that that's part of the email client. So when it, when an email comes to an email server, so SMTP to SMTP, so the receiving SMTP, then it hands over the email to a email server that could be an exchange or a post fix if you're on linux or anything uh, and and that system has a concept of folders and all that stuff but smtp is purely the transport that's the t in smtp um, but now we have with business central uh, Office 365 awareness. So now save as draft and open an editor and stuff like that. So suddenly an email is more than just SMTP, uh, which is the main reason we need to get rid of SM SMTP because we that's like the lowest level we can access an email on uh, and work with emails, but we want to work on the high abstraction level so we can get uh, these features.
So we can do send here and, and let's figure out what are the parameters to send. Well, the parameters to send is just an email message type code in the email. And this is kind of, this, if, if, if you are, if you're an old timer in, in the nav world, we never really used code unit as a variable. Uh, but that is now become a more and more used uh, pattern in, in, in Business Central. So code unit is a value. It, it has carries around information and, and, and can be used as such. So code unit is kind of the closest thing that we can get to um, to an object. Uh, so 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 the only thing we need to do now is to pass our mail. Uh, and um, now that one will get sent. So what we had before in the mail code unit is now in two code units where the message and this, the send stuff is separated. Um, so if we wanted to, I'm not gonna do this now in this video because there's no reason for you guys to, to look at that. Uh, but what I have done up here is simply use the two new code units, mail.create, create my mail, Mail dot add attachment, so I'm adding an attachment and email dot send. And if I compile this, well, I still get the um, my three warnings from uh, from the old code, but the new code is happy. Um, so this was obsoleted in seventeen. Uh, so at some point, uh, this is the SMTP one is going away. So before it's going away. You need to change over, and and I believe this is the right uh, right solution to change over to. So that was done in twelve minutes. Uh, that that's a good time for a video. Uh, so anyway, guys, if you like this stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe. I love when you subscribe. That's a great way great way for me to see that I'm delivering the content that you want to see. Um, and if there's other things that are obsolete that you have come across that you m might not know what to, to do with, let me know in the comments below and we can talk about it. And maybe there's other obsolete videos to be made. Until next time, have a wonderful day.